Hello Transformers fans, it is Speedball on today for you guys, I have you once again on my channel from the brand Blockies, the new Generation 1 Galaxy version blind box kit sets. For those who don't know what that is, uh, these are these new little uh, minifigure models that the brand Blockies has been releasing for both Rise of the Beasts and Generation 1. But the cool part with the Generation 1 is that, yes, they, as mentioned, they are all blind box uh, toys that you, of course, uh, if you don't buy like the whole set or anything, you don't know which character you might get if you get them sing individually and such like that. But they have been a lot of fun, guys. I won't lie to you, they are fun because. Uh, each wave has been adding new characters, new interesting ones, surprises, and such like this set because this is the second wave set, and we already have a number of characters in this line that is, well, going to be opening up more possibilities for later ones, including, for example, Dinobots and Constructicons. Those were some of the big surprises with this set, guys. And, of course, we have been added other characters we, of course, knew we were going to get and, of course, glad we got, like our buddy Starscream, because in the first wave, we didn't actually get him. That surprised me. I won't lie to you. Usually, we get Starscream, then the others. But, no, we got Thundercracker and Skywarp, but now we have Starscream to lead them, which is really cool because they actually changed him out a little bit with different decals like you see on his waist, his shoulders here. Uh, a new accessory, which none of the other two come with, and a new face setup, which is really sinister for Starscream, which of course makes sense. <laughs> but we also got other fun characters, some classics that, well, we really don't get. And of course, they would be Grapple and Inferno, which are classic characters well loved, but yet we don't get as many releases of. But so glad this set did. And I'm sort of hoping we're going to get the, um, I keep forgetting his name, the green version to grapple, I, the Constructicon version. I always forget if they renamed him or not. I always forget. And such like that, my friends. And yes, as you can see, we have some other interesting characters in this set, including a original Generation character, one character which we never got in the show, and that is this Generation One Optimus Shattered Glass version, which is really interesting, my friends, because we all know he was never in the actual G One show, but. As you can clearly see, we now have a minifigure of him, which is so cool and so sinister. I sort of wish he came with that little popsicle gimmick he has, but however, but I still like him. All his decals look great. His color is so <laughs> so villainous. I love it. I really hope we're going to get more Shadow Glass characters because outside of Optimus, you know, I would love to see some other ones we rarely get, like maybe Shadow Glass Grimlock, Shadow Glass Starscream, which I know is a fan favorite. Hey, maybe we'll get a Shattered Glass uh, G1 Megatron. Ooh, that would be a cool one. Uh, and such. What other characters, as you can clearly see, we also have is our classic, surprisingly enough, not in yellow, Cliff Jumper. Yeah, we got Cliff Jumper before Bumblebee. We all know that's a rarity for Transformer toys. So it's awesome to see him in all his, well, Cliff Jumperness. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course, but still, it is awesome to have him in the set and know he's not going to die, I promise. <laughs> it's really cool to see that, and his face expression is really cool. Look at that. That is, he is ticked off face. We know he's not going to hold back against the cons. And that's so awesome. And of course, one noticeable characters I've already mentioned that we have, well, two of, two Constructicons, Mixmaster and Long Call. Yeah. This was a big surprise because this uh, we already know what this is meaning and what it's leading into, and I can confirm this because of the new uh, Wave 3 set that's coming out. We are going to be, hopefully, going to be getting the entire Constructicon team set, which is so cool. I was hoping we'd get some combiner teams. I am sort of hoping, though, we will also get a separate uh, Devastator release where you know he's fully buildable and you can display these guys around him. That would be so much fun. And that also, and that also includes another set of that team we're gonna we are getting, and that is as you can see in my hand, our buddy Grimlock in both modes. Yes, <laughs> if you were wondering, uh, yes, you do get bot mode and dino mode Grimlock. And from what I've been able to tell, you do reuse components from bot Grimlock for dino Grimlock. Now, another thing I must mention really quick, if you'll give me one second. When uh, the set was first revealed, we all saw that Dino Grimlock came with two versions because, for those who don't know, uh, the Galaxy version line, whenever they do a wave set, uh, they do one with, you get nine full characters and such, but there's one character out of that set that gets a secondary release with a metallic version. And yes, Dino Grimlock was our metallic version for this set, and the interesting part is that he came with extra accessories, uh, his uh, genius helmet from the cartoon and both a flame effect and a fish item effect uh well gimmick but i must mention that now because it wasn't really confirmed when it was first revealed uh unfortunately guys if you're wondering if this standard version comes with those specific accessories i mentioned no 
Those are only with the metallic rarity version, as it's called, and I can prove it because, as it shows here on the manual, these are those accessories, as I mentioned, and it says right up there, rarity version, which is the metallic version, as mentioned. So yeah, unfortunately, yeah, you do have to try to pull the rarity one to get those because that's not include guaranteed with if you buy a full set, guys. That's like, I don't know specifically the number wise, but it's like when you buy a case of these, uh, it's sort of maybe that one out of nine chance out of how many cases that you might pull the rarity version to the standard version. Just saying, I know this because I got the first wave set and Optimus was, of course, the rarity in that one. And I didn't get the metallic version until I got a second one uh, set of them. So yeah, I can't guarantee you guys, but it is a pretty cool gimmick and such, and we'll be interested to see future ones. And of course, as I mentioned with the Constructicon team, we are getting more Dinobots because, yes, I know his name has changed, but I always refer to his uh, G1 name. Uh, we are going to be getting a slag in the second, in the third wave with both Bot and Dino. So that tells me that in the upcoming or you know following line of sets, we will probably get Swoop, Snarl, and Sludge as well with their Bots and Dino forms, which is pretty cool. I like that gimmick. Now, one other accessory to mention with this set that you will get that I per, that I did get is uh, you get energon cubes with them. Yeah, which is interesting because as you can see, tell they're all in clear and such. But it's really cool to have because the first uh, wave set did not come with this. Only this set is uh, so far. I'm not sure if the third one will have them either, but it is cool to have because it's always a fun accessory for transformer figures. So real quick, let's look at some of their articulated points let's look at grimlock because he's the uniquest out of them he of course has full ball jointed setup he can move in and out head can move up and down mouth obviously yes can open up he can move this around his uh, chest section a bit tail does not move but his gun can if you want arms can move up all the way about here so he can actually hold stuff that's pretty cool and let's look at long call he can do the same, pull all the way around, back and forth, and such, as you can all see. Now, this part does bend over, uh, sorry, fold over, so you can, of course, turn his head all the way around if you want. Oh, and one notable uh, mention is if you're wondering about this, uh, well, construction tool hand accessory, he does come with standard hands, a complete set, just like all of them do, well, minus uh, Dino Grum. <laughs> so you can, of course, swap it out, which, as you can see, I have a standard hand right here. I just I just put it off to the side if I want to swap it out <laughs> instead of having to pull out the box and stuff. So, yeah. So if you are wondering about that, yeah. And let's see who else to look at. Uh, let's look at Inferno real quick because this was a fun mold to check out since, of course, his is the fire truck and that's in Grapple's the construction truck. And yet they both use the same body type. So, yes, we did get both versions from it. So, if by chance there are any other characters that utilize this design, we'll probably get of them as well. And as you can see, uh, until they bump into that, yes, you can move up and down all the way around really quick and such. And as I showed you, his ladder can pop up, so can his crane. The head can move so far, but because of, of course, the big head armor, well, uh, shoulder setup, I think, <laughs> it you know, can only go so far. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much... Oh, wait, no, actually it isn't. Sorry, of course, I gotta show off Star's game a bit more. This is just like his uh, brothers. He can move all the way about that far until he bumps into his wing armor, up and down. This as well. Arms can go all the way around. Legs as well. Pretty much they all have about the same range of articulation, depending on if, if there's armor in the way or anything like that. And of course, if you happen to have, of course, picked up the first wave set, as I mentioned, you can now, of course, complete the, the dynamic, well, sorry, not the duo, but the three Air Stooges. Yep. You can now have all three together, which is really cool to have with this. I love that idea. I do. I always love completing Seeker sets, so I do love this. And, of course, if you love the whole Megatron uh, Starscream gimmick setup, you can, of course, now display your Megatron, uh, you know, shooting Starscream if you want, <laughs> just for fun. Uh, now, of course, if you were wondering... Really quick, I have for you their first wave Optimus Prime, just so you can all see what how much difference the first wave is from the second wave's Shatterglass Optimus Prime. As you can see, the chest section is different. The there is more painted sections down here, and like that, and smaller details on the waist, and other such facts like that.
So there are differences. Though, oh, but I do uh, can mention as well, because I know this for a fact, the third wave will, of course, be adding another uh, prime to our ranks, or actually, I should say, Magnus to the line, because we are going to be getting, as, as well as it mentions on the uh, promos, uh, the Dream Waves Ultra Magnus White Cab version of, uh, of course, Ultra Magnus. So if you were yeah hoping for an Ultra Magnus of any kind, well, guess what? The third set will have that version if you're looking for one. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. As you've all seen, these guys are really cool to collect. I definitely recommend this whole set from the first to the second. And we'll see about future ones, of course. And yeah, these are fun, easy to build, just fun to collect. And if you're a Generation 1 fan, you know, I'm sure you'll have just as much fun as I am with uh, building these little guys and such like that. And uh, yeah, I can't, oh, uh, before I actually forget, I can't believe I forgot this. Uh, if you're wondering why we haven't seen characters like Bumblebee or Soundwave and such like that, well, I can also confirm that the third set will, well, remedy that because we are going to be getting a Soundwave with a laser beak and Bumblebee. And Soundwave is the special rarity version for the third set. So if you were wondering and really wanted to get them, there you go. So yes, that is it for today, my friends. I thank you always for coming. I hope you're enjoying your hobby. And I hope to see you later on.